a sculptor who uh, makes some, some clay figurines with a twist. You become quickly aware that this history that you're learning, these centuries of paintings and um, people worthy enough for us to learn, don't reflect you. Being aware of that, I started to think, well, what material is my history. I work with the soil um, where my family was enslaved in um, South Carolina. Although we think of plantations um, as these spaces of trauma, to me they're also sacred because um, they point to my ancestors, um, where they lived where they labored and where a lot of them are buried. I've just been building out a body of work um, where I'm taking the soil from True Blue Cemetery and making it into ceramic sculpture um, and embedding Carolina gold rice, um, cotton, black hair. I started working with black hair specifically when I was in art school, a student at the School of Visual Arts in New York. I work with black hair that I collect in barber shops or that is mailed for me from all across the country and sometimes different parts of the world. Our hair, it comes from our bodies, so I'm literally using our black bodies. I believe she cut her locks when she turned 38 and donated them to me. This material, when I say it's our history, it carries our DNA. It literally is our history, our lineage, our ancestry. And when you're an art student, it's free. It comes from these private moments when a woman is in the mirror combing out her hair or these like really intimate moments between a black barber and his client. I have a lot of people, men and women, that will cut their hair and feel really conflicted about just throwing it away. I like to respect that this hair comes to me with its own history. I even sometimes consider whatever that person did, whether they dyed their hair blonde or they cut their hair after a loss of a mother or family member, that that's really where the work starts. Um, so I often will just sit with the hair um, and let it kind of speak to me and kind of guide me. When I bring the hair into the clay, it's my way of um, kind of pointing to how integral we were into shaping and forming this land. So if you want to check out her work in person, you can head on down to the Smithsonian in D.C., mm -hmm. but there's also a couple of other places you can see her as well. Well, one is the Met, for goodness sake, up in New York City. Yeah, and if you don't want to travel that far, you can also check her out at the Clay Studio okay. on American Street right there in Philadelphia.